I think we might be approaching that very special moment that happens after a huge run. That moment where you say, what the heck am I doing? I just made a fortune and I haven't taken anything off the table. After a good day with the Dow gained 243 points, SP climbed 0.53% to a new all-time high, Nasdaq advanced 0.18%. I think we're pretty much there. And I am glad I am talking about this on an up day. Because if I spouted these same lines after a big downturn, you would justify me, me saying, thanks, Kramer, for nothing. Whenever we get these rarefied moments, you know what? It's time for a gut check. It means you need to do some trimming. Purely because your profits don't count until you ring the register. You don't make any money until you take it off. Right now, we don't even seem to know that we're being greedy. We're just so darn slap happy, we forget Mrs. Kramer's first law. My late mom, who loved the ponies and the slots, had an ironclad, ironclad rule. I mean, just boom. When you scored a big hit, you headed out of Caesars or the Liberty Bell racetrack as fast as you could, and you went and bought a beautiful cashmere sweater so you had something tangible to show for it. Let me ask you, have you bought your cashmere sweater yet? My chapel trust, I can't buy sweaters. We give away the winnings, $3 million worth. But I had a Mrs. Kramer experience these last two days. Trust-owned Caterpillar, great company. For a while we owed it. It had been a vicious tug of war between the bulls and the bears. Ages. There were so many short sellers and cats, so many analysts who did everything they could to knock it down. Knock down the stock with phantom worries and bogus concerns about inventory that it did become a totally beleaguering holding. But when the Fed pivoted back in November, when it said that it might have to cut rates, not in so many words, but that was certainly the intent, Caterpillar stock, well, it zoomed. It took off. It ran over the shorts like an 18-wheeler Peterbilt running over a squirrel at 80 miles an hour on the Jersey Turnpike. Cat roared higher. The 240s, the 250s, the 260s, the 270s, the 280s, the 290s. And all I said was, here I go, 300, get out of my way. And then yesterday it happened. Yesterday brought us DuPont, a classic industrial, the pre-announced weekly expected numbers with an even worse outlook for the current quarter. When I read the release, I said, oops, here comes the 10-point club. And, you know, I'm usually pretty good at assessing how bad the pain is the of pain. when my trust owns a position. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Cramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Cramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com. Or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.